What's up everybody, James coming from you again from I Run Tech. This is my blog series and I got a new toy. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. So it's nothing super, super crazy, but this is something I've been wanting for for a while. It is a Vizio 38 inch sound bar. That's a 2.1, it has a subwoofer attached to it. It's just basically the sound bar itself with a subwoofer, a wireless subwoofer attached. It has a blue a Bluetooth streaming. Uh, so I can play my musics on here. I'm actually kind of stoked to uh, listen to Spotify on this thing. Uh, so uh, this is my living room, if you guys haven't seen it. Sorry, I apologize for the mess. Uh, we've got a nice, lovely uh, couch right here next to my entertainment center. Uh, set up all right there. This right here is a Vizio. Uh, do to do so 15-inch 4K TV. Uh, pardon me, because I don't know exactly what model number it is. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but it's a 4K TV. It has a great display, but it's a flat screen, so the sound pretty much sucks ass. Um, all right, we just got the recent uh, new Star Wars movie, and uh, it didn't sound anywhere near like I wanted it to, to sound. And hopefully this will actually give us a little bit better sound quality. I like having like a good, almost like home theater vibe, at least when I'm sitting here and like watching a movie or even playing a game. Um, so I'm hoping I get a nice little like boom sounding to it. Uh, I really just want to be able to feel my butt vibrate when I'm listening to loud explosions and stuff like that. It's going to be really cool. Uh, so I plan to mount it. Uh, I'll kind of blog out through the process to see how it's going to go. And this is my first time mounting a sound bar. I mounted a TV though and did a pretty good job. It hasn't fallen down yet. Hang on. Knock on wood. Um, but uh, I'm going to hook this up and see how it sounds. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going We'll see what happens. Okay, well, let's take a look at what exactly is inside this sucker, and we're we'll unbox the sucker here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need any type of uh, box cutters or anything like that. Doesn't look like it at the moment. I picked this up at Costco right now. It's on sale at Costco. It's uh, normally this thing goes for about one seventy nine. Uh, we got it, picked it up on sale. Um, it was one nineteen before taxes, uh, so actually that was a pretty decent deal. Uh, let's probably want to have some type of box cutter or something when you're doing this, but I am just going good old fashioned. I don't want to waste time finding for, <laughs> I don't want to waste time looking for any type of thing to open it with. I just want to open the thing. I'm so excited there. Okay. There we go. All right, we opened the box, completed. Um, so let's see what we got in here. Obviously the meat and potatoes. It's, it's very, I mean, it's a subwoofer. Very nice packaging. I mean, very, 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 very nice. Uh, it's kind of a small little woofer here. Oh, that's very nice, though. Has that nice new uh, electronic smell. So the woofer, the, the speaker is actually on the bottom there. So as you can see, it stands up like that. So you can get the, the bass going to the floor there. It's really nice. Uh, nice silver. I, li I like the top here. Uh, has an on-off switch on the side. Power goes in there. Um, it is wireless. Uh, looks like there's a pairing button right there that you press to actually pair it to the sound bar itself. Probably does it by Bluetooth or some type of wireless technology like that. I will find out once we get through the setup process. It's, all this stuff is trash. And here is the actual sound bar. Uh, I like the really design the the way they designed the new sound bars versus the old sound bars that Vizio had. The old ones kind of had a more of like a triangle look. This is a little more of like a square look. It has kind of like the silver top, kind of like the um, the uh, uh, subwoofer there. And uh, that's nice. There you go. Again, new electronic smell. 
Uh, kind of the same the same thing. Uh, it has a nice. Uh, it's pretty much nice. So square sound bar is 38 inches. Um, it has your uh, your your power, your volume, and your Bluetooth here. It looks like also it looks like it's an input mode to change different inputs. Uh, on the back, you have uh, on the side here. Just you got where your power connects to. And uh, looks like you got a uh, digital uh, optical and digital line in. You have a USB auxiliary and a regular stereo jack, uh, audio uh, left and right channel. Uh, well, that looks really cool. Um, it doesn't come with anything to actually mount it, I don't think. Wait, there's another. There's one more box. Accessories. So, I apologize if my head's out of the shot. My uh, first... Uh, first time I used a, uh, what do you call it, tripod? <laughs> uh, so inside it, you actually, you get a, uh, looks like you get like a regular optical cable. It's not very long. It looks like it's about two, two feet, which that's not going to work for me because I have my TV like a couple of feet away from, uh, not a couple, like five feet away from where it actually needs to connect to. Um, oh, it does come with mounting brackets. That's cool. Uh, cool. So it comes with like a little uh, wall mount and screw so you can actually mount it to the wall. That's going to be cool. Um, this is drywall, so be sure if you're going to mount it to the wall, you're going to be able to have to use anchors. It's not that heavy though, so you probably don't need anything really heavy, uh, heavy duty or sturdy. And uh, of course, the uh, remote. Very nice remote. Uh, kind of looks almost like a little Apple TV style remote. Uh, this has your, uh, your uh, tracks, your Bluetooth, your power button there and everything like that. I'll have a little bit close up here once the video is all said and done. Yeah, batteries too. Love the batteries. That's cool mounting brackets. And then inside here, uh, oh cool, you have uh, both the power connectors that you have, the power, one uh, uh, power cord for the actual sound bar itself and the other one for the, the uh, subwoofer. And then you also get a, looks like it's a uh, like digital uh, connector cable and your regular audio channel left to right looks like you plug it so this kind of looks like your this regular auxiliary cable uh left and right channel that plugs into like an iphone or something like that so i probably won't be using that i'll, I'll be using the digital cable um, um optical cable uh plugging it directly to my tv um might need to get some type of converter box i do have uh, more than one connection that i want to connect to i have my xbox one uh my uh, regular t uh, regular um uh, cable and then my TV. Uh, now, if I can route everything from the TV to there, and from the Xbox to the TV, uh, the TV to the soundbar, and the Xbox to the TV, and uh, cable to TV, then I might be in business. But we'll find out where that goes. Okay. Now, the next thing is to try to figure out how to mount the damn thing. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Okay, fast forward to a couple of days later, and uh, we're gonna start getting ready to mount the. Vizio sound bar, right? And yeah, where's my finger? Right there. And we are going to mount it right underneath uh, our TV, right there. And a very cool thing that I actually just found out that Vizio actually, or at least that the sound bar, they actually give you a uh, wall mount kind. Of, uh, they actually, uh, what they give you is Vizio actually gives you a wall mount, uh, kind of like a. Uh, I don't even know what you would call this, but uh, you would basically, you, it's the actual size. You put this on the wall and you can actually mark where you're supposed to go and the holes are supposed to line up perfectly. So it's a uh, stencil, I guess you could say, or something on like that. So we can actually hang that up without having to drill holes in the wall. We can make sure we're perfectly lined up. See, it's actually the actual size of the actual Vizio uh, sandbar. So that's, that's pretty slick. So I'm just gonna hang that on the wall and then see how, um, well, hang it on the wall, put the screws in where it needs to go, drill it in, test it out, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, just a few things you actually need to actually accomplish this task uh, that'll actually kind of help you out. First, the wall stencil, we got that done. Um, second is you're gonna need some uh, drywall uh, screws and anchors. This is going to keep in handy. Actually, it doesn't require a drill to actually drill in the holes to get the anchors in. Uh, it just kind of screws in, but, I'm still gonna use the drill anyways because I'm lazy. <laughs> and another thing kind of handy to have, if you happen to have one handy, is a uh, laser leveler. Um, what this does, it actually creates a little laser pointer there and it kind of creates a little line going across the wall to keep it leveled. 
and then the hacks uh, also has the leveler uh, right there so you can kind of make sure you have a nice even uh, straight line across the wall so that way you'll have yourself all over and not crooked uh, it's about 20 bucks on Amazon saved me a ton in the past uh, definitely of not having uh, crooked stuff anymore so this is definitely a lifesaver I highly recommend it Now to get the mounting brackets on the actual Vizio soundbar itself, it's really easy. So as you can see, we put the two brackets on the wall there. We've got one, two, side by side, right underneath the TV. And uh, to actually, what it does is it's gonna, what it does is it's gonna slide onto those two little mounts by using those two little screws there. And so what we're gonna do is just put these screws like so, right in there. And then this is just gonna lay right behind, right around the top of those two little brackets. Uh, now, I highly recommend before you do this, though, even though it's super easy to take out, you just lift up and lift down. You probably want to get your cable situated and what you want to connect to. So we'll do that right now. Okay guys, there you have it. It all set up minus for a little bit of cable management. Um, I wanted to show you guys how it sounds comparison versus the uh, uh, regular TV and the speakers versus the actual soundbar. It does make a world of difference. Um, I'm gonna play one of my videos of my uh, vlogging series, uh, the previous vlog. I figured if I, I can't get flagged if I play my, my own content. Uh, whoops, that's Jay. Jay's two cents, another one of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, so here's what the regular TV What's speakers. What's up everybody, how's it going? This is James coming to you from Pirate Lab Tech. Probably wondering where the heck I've been. Probably not really wondering because I really only have eight subscribers, eight to 10 subscribers, so there's probably maybe two or three of you kind of wondering, hey, where you're at, and the majority of you are. Okay, so that was with the regular TV speakers. 
Now I am going to turn on the Vizio soundbar. And we're going to turn off audio speakers on here. And we're just going to listen to soundbar by ourselves. Okay, now here is it. Here's the how it sounds on this Vizio soundbar. Probably wondering where the heck I've been. Probably not really wondering that because I really only have eight, eight to ten subscribers, so it's probably maybe two or three of you to kind of wondering, hey, where you're at. And the majority of you were probably my friends, so you just text me saying what's going on. So in reality, nobody knew I was even not making videos. <laughs> but a lot has happened since. Uh, very pleased. The clarity of the sound is a lot better. The actual bass, you can hear it. You can get a little like bassy feeling to a little boom feeling, which is awesome. Um, the subwoofer that we uh, that came with it actually, it's right behind a couch here. I uh, can see there it is right there, and plugged in right behind, uh, plugged in right behind the couch over there. Um, so very pleased. The last thing I got to do is just get a little tiny bit of cable management um, plastic to uh, cover up those wires, so we, we're not seeing any wires going out there. Because um, as of right now, the way it is, that's kind of sloppy. <laughs> uh, so we want to fix that up a little bit though. So I'll do that before the wifey gets home. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, this is cool. Cool. Um, if you want to see the finished product, follow me on Instagram. I run underscore tech on Instagram. You'll be able to see the finished product. I'll post it on there. And uh, yeah, thanks for following me along, guys. Uh, it took a couple of days to make this video. Uh, uh, if you like it, you know, subscribe. I'm gonna have more stuff on here. I'm gonna review an Intel stick coming up soon. The Chromecast uh, second version, the Chromecast second generation, and just other random stuff that I find. I'll make a couple of blogs on current events. And um, I'm just going to have a fun time with this. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, catch you later. James, signing out.